Hi, Brianna. Hi, <laughs> My question is, um, originally I was a lifestyles, healthy lifestyles coach, um, and I've had rough five years. So I'm trying to get back into the swing of things and it's pretty much just starting from scratch. Uh, my, the, the part that really I'm struggling with is balancing my life. I'm still homeschooling children. They're teenagers, but it's still a handful. And I have been had dealing with um, some family issues. And then now I'm, I'm at a point in my life, where I'm like, okay, I kind of took a step back on a few things. And now I'm trying to get that mindset and um, organizing everything instead of feel like I'm just juggling left and right and dealing with everybody else. And then I kind of put myself in the back burner. Um, so I, I don't know, I don't know where I should begin, um, how I should do this, but I would like to get back into that mindset and that energy and the motivation, like when I was in the beginning, how I just was excited about it. Now I feel like I'm just tugging weights and just like, I want to do it, but uh, I can't find the time. Yeah. Well, first I just want to acknowledge that it's been like a hard several years for most people and then homeschooling teenagers on top of it and all the things it's just a lot so to feel like unmotivated or like a lack of time it's just so normal so I think to there can be like this beating up of ourselves like where is my motivation where is my like why can't I make myself do this and instead to be like wow I like just survived a pandemic so like I'm gonna just be nice to myself and I'm homeschooling teenagers, which I am astounded by anyone who can do that. So just to say, ah, right. I'm doing, I'm doing some really hard things and I'm just going to first like bring a lot of compassion because I can feel in you. There's some like beating yourself up and you know, there's like, can I kind of like shame and blame myself into creating a business? And I want to say the answer to that is no, please don't do that. Please don't shame and blame yourself into creating a business. I would love for you to start in the place of just creating some big rocks that are like Christie rocks that are about taking care of you and your desires first before we even get into the business and all those other things or where to start with that, I think the first thing is to say, you need some care and to be prioritized in your own life first. Say like, oh, oh, I actually need, you know how your, your kids and their homeschooling and probably your house and family things and all these things are like big rocks in your life. They're like these big things. And I feel like you have these tiny, little sand pieces of Christy that get sprinkled in, but generally don't even fit. And so you're not actually getting to take care of yourself. And so then you're like, how does Christy have her desires met? And I'm like, well, first we have to get Christy in the life. Like first you have to come in and it needs to be first. So first we just need to metaphorically, not literally take everything out, right? And clear the space. So just allowing everything like if we didn't have anything let's just say you had the next rest of this year and you didn't have anything in it yet you just have a clear schedule and actually choose consciously what you put back in it and the first thing i want you to put in there is you because you have not been in your life as a priority and you just can't keep doing that to you and so you, and then, you know, maybe your kids and other people will see, but like you first so that you can be really held in what you need in your care, in your love, in your desires. And this will clear the space for everything you want to create. I hope so. <laughs> it's hard. It really is hard trying to fit that me in there just because I'm naturally a teacher and a counselor and I'm always helping everybody else. So I was like, one of these days I'm getting there. I, I, I have the vision and I know what I want to do, but it's just 
squeezing it in and doing the steps and um, making the progress. Yeah, this is why it has to be like completely flipped. Okay. <laughs> like, oh, you want my help? Let me see if I can squeeze that in. Right. It's like everyone else's needs get to be fit in if they fit in. And if they don't fit in, they don't fit in because your needs need to come first. Like you actually need to take care of yourself first. Like what lights you up? Wait, what makes you so happy? And yes, of course, you're an, I'm sure you're an amazing caregiver and teacher and lover and all of those things. And they are, they will disappear completely if you're not cared for. Right? It's in service to everyone for you to care for yourself. Okay, that makes sense. And it will really help with boundaries if you have a clear sense of like, I, my life is for me first mm -hmm. and then everything else gets to come in. And even when, you, even as you start your business, it will just be one of those other things. It's like, my life is for me first and I want a business. So that gets a medium sized rock in my life, or maybe it's a big rock. You can yeah. decide how big of a rock you want to make it. And maybe it's medium until your kids graduate from high school. And then maybe it gets bigger, you know? It's, that's a flexible thing, but your, you first needs to be there and it's going to be challenging for the other people in your life. Not because they're bad people. I'm sure they're delightful people, but because they've been trained for it to be this way, mm -hmm. like, oh, well, this has always just been the way it is. You always take care of my needs. You always meet my needs. You always care for me. You always do the things you and so when you stop doing that, it's going to be like, what, <laughs> I, this is not, this is not how it used to be. You just have to be like, yep, it's not how it used to be. And it doesn't mean I love you any less. It's just that I needed to center myself. Mm -hmm. That definitely makes sense. And I will definitely put that into practice. It'll be a little challenging, but yeah, that, I mean, thinking about that way, yeah, I guess I had eventually just trained everybody <laughs> for being needy, <laughs> needing with me. So, okay, all right. Then I definitely will flip it and take the steps back and kind of solely slow, focus on myself and then just take those baby steps in that direction and yeah. reprioritize that I need to take care of me first then. <laughs> yeah. And I don't even know if it needs to be slowly taking it back. You could just do mm -hmm. it now. It could be like today, you know, it might be take a week to like reorganize the actual schedule or maybe mm -hmm. two weeks to actually reorganize the schedule. But I don't want it to be that you're like in within the next three years, I will have centered myself. I want it to be like within the next three weeks, I will have centered myself okay. because this is what's available to you. But that's like a commitment and a devotion, but then everything else will grow from there. You will really flourish. And I promise you, if you do this for three weeks and you're like, this isn't flourishing, Brianna, I will, we'll have a conversation. I'll be like, okay, let's look and see, because I know that this is the thing that will allow everything else to really grow for you. Okay. I like that. I it has been a long time since I've actually really <laughs> focused on myself and found myself and um, reconnected with my passions and joys in life. So yeah, I will definitely put that into practice starting today. Yes, today. <laughs> no excuse. I like that we went like from slowly to you're like, okay, you said now. I'm doing it now. <laughs> you said it, girl, I'm going to do it. Okay. <laughs> It's so good. And also just to, to know that I think a lot of times as mamas, we're like, oh, but my babies, mm -hmm. right? I know that they're teenagers, but still, I know they're your babies, right? They're like, yeah, it doesn't help. Now I have two grandbabies. So grandbabies. now the older children have been coming up to me. So, you know, I, I'm taking that role again, like, oh, okay, I want to help you with this and that. So yeah, I will incorporate a little bit more of the no, so I can and enjoy more of me. <laughs> And it's so good for your children and your grandchildren because we learn from modeling, mm -hmm. right? And it's not what we say. We, as we know, our children don't do what we say. They do what we do. They model our behavior. And so if, if you want to raise kids and grandkids 
that can actually be centered in themselves, you have to show them how. So you're doing everyone a favor. Right. Okay. I awesome. appreciate that a lot. Yeah. That, that helps me to take that step back instead of thinking I have to rush and get things going. Uh, yeah. And, and the interesting thing will be that this step of centering yourself is going to make it so that you, when you do take that step, mm -hmm. as soon as you take that step into your business, it's going to be on good footing. It's going to be on like right. solid ground so that it makes sense. So that, that step can build upon the next step, upon the next step, and you can get momentum quickly. But one of the things we tend to do is try to run in quicksand. Like mm -hmm. I could teach you how to run, but currently you're on quicksand. So it doesn't make sense to teach you how to run. I need to get you some ground and then we can teach you how to run. And then it's going to make a huge difference, but it won't make a difference if you're running on quicksand. Very true. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I appreciate your answers yeah. and I will definitely go back and rearrange some things in my life before I try to jump into my career. So <laughs> I love it. It will uh, make a whole lot of difference and I definitely understand. And I like carrying it over so that my children and grandchildren don't follow in those footsteps, but actually take care of themselves as well. Yeah. We're raising strong human beings that are capable and have ground underneath them. So it'll be great. Okay. Mm. Thank you, Brianna. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm.